hello everyone welcome back to another session so in this session i'm going to explain how to activate the custom fields in the asset master data generally in acc system uh, we used to take the help of a technical uh, team uh, to activate the fields uh, they will be using uh, some user exits and enhancement spots uh, they they will be uh, uh, writing the code to, uh, to bring the new custom fields now in s4 hana system uh, as a functional consultant without taking any uh, technical team support uh, we can activate uh, the custom fields as per the business requirement so in this session i will show you how to do that so first of all you need to open your fury uh, let me open the fury here okay uh then uh, access the fury app custom fields and logics uh fury app so let me go here and then here uh here we have a uh, three fields like custom fields data source extension and the custom logic so we need a custom field so in the first tab select the first tab and then click on uh, this create icon and then here select uh, as a fixed asset I'll just enter the asset so here you can see the first one you need to take fixed asset master data just double click and then uh, enter the label of that field uh, on based on your requirement uh, you will be adding a field uh, like uh, in my case I will be entering like uh, amount zero zero one as a label and then here uh, i will be selecting the type of that field just click on the drop down and then here you can select a numerical numerical text or a number so i am selecting this one amount with currency okay and then uh, click on a create and edit okay and then go to user interface here and here you can see the status all are uh, showing as a disable enable all the data source here on the steps okay once you enable all just click on save here and then click on publish so here you can see it's a publishing once it's finished then you go to spro path and you need to do some configuration i will explain that okay uh, it's still the status is showing as publishing uh, meantime i will show you the spro configuration which we need to do 
okay i am going to the gui screen so here just enter the transaction spro and sap reference img and then navigate to asset accounting so here i'm selecting a financial accounting and then here asset accounting and then go to master data here and then screen layout then select a specified tab layout okay one second uh, go to specified tab layout for asset master record and then you select the first option define tab layout for asset master data and then these are the tab layouts you just select the sap standard one and click on copy and then create a z like this just hit enter and then save just copy this one go here and then i need that field in the general tab level uh, so here in in asset master data we will be having uh, eight tabs in which tab you need those field uh, based on your requirement just uh, select that tab in my case i need that uh, field in the general tab and then click on position of groups on the tab and then here click on new entries and here i'm entering four and then yes zero zero five zero just enter as zero zero five zero and hit enter and save then go back one more step back and one more step back and then go to the second option uh, which is the assign tab layouts to asset classes and then choose your asset class yeah i'm choosing this asset class and then click on general assignment of layout and then here uh, you will be having uh, three types like a cost center manage uh, you will not be able to create a new one so you need to utilize uh, any one of these three so i'm going to uh, remove this one and whatever the tab layout i have created i will be assigning here and then select this one and click on assignment of uh, layout to chart of depreciation and then here just click on new entries then choose your chart of depreciation so my chart of depreciation is uh, 2000 and then transaction group just click on f4 here and select your transaction group others and then tab layout do a four here and whatever the uh, you created z just select this one and click on save now the spro configuration is completed so if you have a multiple class layout uh, asset classes in each asset class you need to assign this one In each asset class you need to perform this this activity the second uh, activity this activity you need to perform in each asset class and this one is a one-time activity you need to create uh, the tab layout and whatever the tab layout you have created here you need to be here assign it to all the asset classes relevant asset classes okay and then go back to your custom fields and logic here it's uh, showing as a status as a still publishing let me go inside of this one okay okay again publish still showing as a publish it should be change the status to published and then uh, we can go back to asset master data and we can check that field okay 
okay now you can see here this is our uh, the line which we have created amount with currency its status is showing as a published we have and uh, we have taken the label name as a amount 001 now i will go back to gui screen and i will create a new session then i will go to the transaction code as01 okay and then i will use the asset class where i have uh, added the tab layout and assign it to asset class and then this is my company code and then hit enter Yeah, system is saying it's compiling. Just one step back. And now, so in the first, uh, I selected the I assigned the tab layout in the general tab, uh, in inside the first tab. If I can scroll down, so here you can see it's showing the field name as a amount 001 and uh, it's showing as a new, uh, new line item which has been created which uh, saying it's saying an enhancement so here uh, system is allowing me to enter uh, some amount here USD. okay you can see here usd is uh, showing the currency as well us dollars and amount the same way we can add uh, what are the fields we need in this eight tab wherever you want you can add it and this is the complete end to end process to add the custom fields in the asset master data okay thank you so much for watching my videos thank you